Good morning. Hope you loved the slow mo slow slow mo slow mo vid to start off morning. I don't know. I was just bored. Whatever. Um, but good morning. It is Sunday. I am about to head out to work. I have to work at ten. I am so tired this morning. I don't know why. I was also very tired last night. Um, I had my friend Allison over and we were just hanging out and then I think she left at like twelve thirty, so it wasn't even that late. And then, I don't know, I'm just like dead. But, I am all ready to go to work. I've got some gym clothes on so that I can head to the gym right afterwards. You guessed it, folks. We are starting up the gym regimen again. It's time. I've got some time this week to really, like, figure out what I'm going to do at the gym without tons of people around, you know. So, that is the plan. But, right now, I am just picking up my room a little bit before I go get breakfast. So, yeah, I'm working 10 to 2 today. Um, should be another slow shift. Even more people should be gone. There were a couple of people left yesterday. Um, and I'm guessing that maybe they were flying out today because, like, everyone's going home for spring break. But me. But it's fine. I can just, you know, do whatever. So, just, just gotta decide. Hello. So, I was gonna go to the gym after class, but then I wanted to take a nap. So, here I am, still in my workout clothes. But you know, that's fine. We'll we'll try again tomorrow. Um, but I have just been chilling. I finished the book that I started yesterday. It was okay. Um, I started a new book today, which I am liking a lot more than the other one, so that's good. Um, Mira texted me, and we have our housing appointment set up for Wednesday to go to her an apartment that we want to live in next year, so that's cool. Um, yeah, so I'm just chilling here in the room, in my bed, reading, so, yeah. Right here, we've got ourselves a gourmet dinner prepared by yours truly. This took me about an hour and a half, and, uh, you know, it was it was a really complicated recipe, but I managed, I really managed to, to make it. Basically, oh my god, I'm crazy. Basically, I got really into the book that I was reading, and I kind of missed, um, going to dinner because... I looked at the clock and the dining hall was closed. So, um, prepared this gourmet feast for myself. Uh, yeah. I do have to go to bed early, though, because I have to work at 6 a.m. tomorrow. Eh. Um, and, yeah. So, this is, this is dinner, but it's okay. These things are really fucking good, so. <laughs> Whatever. But, yeah. I'm probably gonna call it a night soon. I'm gonna eat this, and then... that I don't die tomorrow morning. But it's just gonna be another shift of like watching Netflix or reading my book, so I just have to get I just have to be awake. So yeah, that is that's tomorrow. But yeah, I'm gonna enjoy my gourmet dinner now. Have a good night. Good night. Hope you're uh, having a having a more well planned meal than this. Good morning. It is six AM. Well just about it's like 5.57 and I need to go to work. Oh, we kept this morning with such a trial. But here I am, here we are. Um, I need myself some coffee, water, um, because I don't know what else. And I got a book to read. So, I just gotta stay away for four hours. That's all I gotta do. 
Um, because I'm going to let see no one, because no one is here. It's so dark outside, I don't know if it's snowing. I did wear a coat, so I'm just going across the street, but... Oh, it's so early. <laughs> when my alarm went off this morning, I thought it was my dream. Like, I was like, this can't be happening. But it is, it so is. Anyway, I'm going to dash across the street just for my monitor. Doesn't get pissed off because I'm right. Yeah, so the night monitors are people employed by Campus Safety who work the desk at night because students can't work it between 10 p.m. and 6 a.m. Um, so, and they rotate out monthly. Um, and my favorite desk manager who worked in um, Simpson last month uh, now works in my building. So it's really nice. Like this morning I saw her um, as she was just getting off her shift. And she was like, oh, heading across the street. I was like, yeah. Um, so, and then I'll see her, like, when I come back from, like, 10 p.m. shifts when she's just starting. So, that was nice. Thought I would share that. You know. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna be here for four hours. Um, it's really warm in here. It's always warm in here. Uh, just rocking this great polo with this really great hairstyle called ponytail from yesterday. With a slight bit of dry shampoo. What we are calling this look today. Normally on 6 a.m. shifts, I don't see very many people, but there's people going to like the gym or ROTC, and then lots of people have classes at 8:30. But there's just gonna be no one. So I'm rocking some sweats at the desk this morning. Uh, probably couldn't get away with that during the week, even for 6 a.m. Uh, but you know, this it's it's special circumstance. I've got some coffee, which is good because I'm going to need it. Um, normally I don't make coffee in the morning for my 6 a.m. because I don't want to wake Mira up and her carrot is literally one foot from the bed and it would be so loud, like I would feel so bad. Um, so yeah, that's where we're at. I just got on FaceTime with Anna. It was good to catch up with her. We talked about our lives. She said we have been fun in Vietnam, so that was nice. Um, I've still got... So please ignore all the angry swiping sounds that are happening in this clip right now. I'm not entirely sure what I was doing, but I don't really stop doing it at all. So sorry about that. Left of work. Then I am free. Um, I can get some breakfast. I'm gonna get get my little butt to the gym today. That's that's what's happening. And then I, think I should probably do some laundry. Like I don't have anything. I don't have anywhere I need to be the rest of the day. Um, and since my cousin is staying overnight in my room Thursday night and Friday night, I need to put, I need to wash my extra set of sheets and then I need to put it on Mira's bed so that she can sleep in Mira's bed. And I talked to my mom and totally cool with it. So, and then I also just need to like do laundry in general and just like clean my room to make it like presentable for my mother, you know, because mother's so standards. Um, and it's, it's kind of gotten a little bit out of hand this week, but I'm just going to stay here for another hour in, my, in the sweats. I'm more awake than I was two hours ago, three hours ago. So. I did it, people. I freaking did it. I went to the gym, got the hardest part over with, which is starting. Now I just gotta keep up my momentum and go consistently. Um, so hopefully I can stick to that. Ooh. <coughs> Although, after my workout, I can't stop coughing for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why. Uh, someone who is more experienced in the, than I am and goes to the gym more than once a year, please let me know if that's a common thing that happens. Um, but before I went to the gym, I did finish the second book in the series that I started. Did I start yesterday or the day before? I think I started it yesterday. Um, so I kind of want to start the third book now. Um, so I think I might sit and start that, and then I'm gonna go throw in some laundry because uh, it's gotta it's gotta happen. You know, did one productive thing. We can do another one. 
Um, yeah, I don't know. I have just, I mean, I live a pretty sedentary lifestyle already, but just the past couple days, like yesterday especially, um, I spent a lot of time laying on my bed because I was reading. Um, and then like my back and my legs were hurting a lot, um, yesterday and today. So it was hard to fall asleep because I had already been like laying down for a good chunk of the day. I don't know. Um, I'm used to a fair amount of time sitting and or laying just because I'm a very sedentary human being. Um, but like that was way more than I normally do. Like during the day when I have like class and like running around doing other stuff. You know, come to think of it, I don't lay on my bed that much other than when I'm sleeping or on the weekends. Anyway, whatever. I'm going to read my book now. <coughs> Hopefully this cough goes away. So, I've been sitting here editing on my laptop, but I literally smell like a sweat ball because I have not changed out of my workout clothes yet, which does that smell weird. No, yeah, whatever. Um, I just really need to shower, and I know I want to go to the gym tomorrow before work, so I don't want to wash my hair, so I don't think I'm going to do that, but like, the sweat ball has got to go, which is me. Um, so, I'm going to jump in the shower. Shower time, hammer time, bam! And then laundry. <laughs> Just got off the phone with my mom. We had an hour and 40 minute conversation as usual. Um, I did not get any laundry done tonight, but that is okay because I realized that I have a clean set of sheets and my other set of towels are clean, which I somehow slipped my mind, not really sure how. And I don't know. I don't know why I forgot about that. But those were the things I needed to wash because I need sheets and towels for my cousin to stay overnight. Duh. Um, the only thing is, I don't know if I have underwear to wear tomorrow. Whatever. I'll deal with it in the morning. But I'm going to go to bed because I'm very tired. Got up at 5.30 this morning. It's, I think it's 10.30 or close to 11 now. But... Hope you enjoyed my super not really eventful at all day. I spent most of it here in this exact location. But good night. Check you in the morning. Good morning. So I had every t intention of waking up this morning really early, like 7.30, going to the gym and then, oh, didn't rub my moisturizer in. Um, going to the gym and then heading to the Museum of Contemporary Photography downtown. But I just woke up this morning and I was so tired, which I did get up really early yesterday and then I didn't go to bed very, very early last night. So I was kind of like, eh, I'm going to stay in bed. So I spent the morning sleeping in and reading my book, which was very nice. Um, but I'm going to head off to the gym now and then afterwards I'm going to get some lunch. I'm going to pack some food for tonight because I have my eight hour shift today. So I'm going to need some food to keep me going. Um, so yeah, so that's what I'm doing today. It's going to be very not interesting at all. Um, I think I want to get some homework done tonight. Because I was, I was thinking about it, and I'm like, Mary's coming tomorrow to tour the apartment. Then we're going downtown. So maybe I convince her to go to the... I'm going to try and convince her to go to the Museum of Contemporary Photography with me tomorrow. Um, and then... Thursday is when my family's coming, and they're staying until Saturday, and then Mira will probably come back on Saturday. So, I don't have a ton of time to actually do any work. Please ignore my sweat ball status. Um, I got lunch after I went to the gym, and I, I think there was like a high school that was touring today. And oh my god, it was a freaking madhouse. There was nowhere to sit. All these high schoolers were like yelling and like shoving each other around. It was really interesting. Um, <coughs> but I did grab dinner. So I've got a sandwich, a banana, some Chex Mix. I'm also going to grab some fruit snacks from my room. I'm trying to think if I have anything else. Because I need enough food to keep me going for eight hours. 
But yeah, I've got about an hour until I need to be at work. So I'm gonna jump in the shower real quick and then head over. So I just got to work. I am so tired. I wanna take a nap so badly, but I can't because I will be here until 10 p.m., which is when my shift ends. It's currently 2.01. So one minute down, uh, 480, 479 to go. If I did my math right, I'm not sure if I did. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try and get some homework done. That'd be really cool of me if I did that. But otherwise, probably finish my book today. That'll be exciting. There's no one checked in right now. I have seen a couple people, but I'm guessing it's gonna be very dead. Very, very dead. We are going on hour five of the eight hour shift. Um, I'm watching Grey's Anatomy. I finished the book I was reading earlier. It was very good. Um, I haven't seen too many people so far. I made myself a sandwich at the dining hall today to take to work and then I left it in my fridge. So that was annoying. So I've been eating Chex Mix, a banana, and fruit snacks for dinner. Super, super fun. Super, really, really good dinner. So. So I am just sitting here editing, but I was editing uh, the video from early December and I was talking about um, the honor class I was in and the research poster that we were working on. And I just remembered that I got an email from my professor the other day and he was like, oh, like your posters are all printed and, and come pick them up so you can present them at the, the conference. And my group and I, like, I don't think any of us can go to the conference and like none of us will want to tell our professor that. So I just totally ignored the email and I completely forgot about it. And now I'm like, what do I do? Um, I mean, like the class is over. So like none of us really care as much anymore about the project that we did last semester. So <laughs> it's just a little, a little bit, a little bit awkward, but you know. My super long work shift is finally over. I am back now. Um, I am just going to throw in a load of laundry. I am super looking forward to not having to hunt uh, to find a uh, washing machine. So it's going to be super exciting. But I just need to throw in one load. So yeah. And then I've got a whole mountain of dishes in the bathroom that I don't want to wash. I should really, I should really wash them because right now they're taking up all the counter space and since Mir's coming tomorrow, I don't know if she's coming up to the room, but I don't want it to be a mess if she does end up coming up here, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. The world is my oyster. If I don't do the dishes uh, today, I'll do them tomorrow night. Yay! Because I know if I don't get the dishes done before my mother shows up, there is going to be a can of whoop ass opened on my ass by my mother. So we don't we don't want that, do we? No, no, no. That no. We don't want to tick off the mother. Have to keep the mother calm because if the mother's not happy, no one's happy. Laundry is a go. Being an hour adult and doing those things that I don't want to do, but that I really, you know, should do. But in all, in all honesty, it was kind of getting to the point that if I didn't do, didn't wash that load tonight, um, I don't, I don't think I'd have underwear to wear tomorrow. So it's in my best interest. Um, but seriously, I'm so excited for my mother and my brother and my cousin to come visit me. And this week has actually kind of gone by so fast because it's already Tuesday. Mira's coming tomorrow. Uh, my family's staying Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Mir's coming back on Saturday, and then it'll be Sunday, and then classes will start again. Oh, classes. It's been kind of weird being on, being on campus with, like, no homework to do. And, I mean, just, like, no people around in general. Um, I actually I still need this. Um, but I kind of like it, and I really don't want to have to go back to studying. Oh, good morning. It is Wednesday morning. 
so it's about 9.30, um, it's kind of like a very blue sky day. Um, I just finished getting ready, and I was washing up a couple of dishes, I had some extra time, um, and I'm currently brewing coffee, which you can probably hear in the background. Um, but, I'm about to head off to the dining hall to get breakfast, and then I've got to work from 10 to 2, and then Mir's coming so we can tour the apartment at 2.30, which is super exciting. Never toured an apartment before, so it'll be, it'll be a new experience. Um, yeah, and then I think afterwards we're going to go downtown, maybe go to the cultural center, take some pictures. I'm not entirely sure yet, but Mir's coming, so we'll do something. Be out here at work. Um, I had a great breakfast this morning. The dining hall had bagels, and they haven't had bagels in like months, so that was amazing. Um, and then I also had the best donut. Like, I don't know if it was just because the donut was good or my body just needed some sugar, but oh, that donut just put me in a good mood. So, yeah, I just walked in. It is 9.59. Um, yeah. Just hanging out. There's no one checked in right now. And I doubt anyone is going to be checked in. So, love, love when I get paid to do nothing. Just got to work, and I am heading to the dining hall to get some lunch. It's 2 o'clock, and I'm going to be over at the apartment at 2 30 to meet Mira. I don't know if she's here yet. She's coming from the suburbs, so I am on my way. We out here touring the apartment. Um, this is actually the building that one of my friends lives in, so it should be interesting. She lives Got everything, sir. Mir and I are heading out to take photos and also just trips around downtown. Yep. Yep. And we're getting noodles and bubble tea. And bubble tea. And cultural center. And cultural center. We're gonna get cultured. Yeah. Be cultured. I'm not getting it, I'm not getting it. <laughs> it's not an artsy shot. <laughs> That's okay. Hello, so Mir and I had a great day today. Um, the apartment that we toured this morning we loved. We had a good time at the cultural center, took some photos, which I shall insert at some point if I haven't already. Um, and then we went to this restaurant called Blowfish for dinner. And we had some great sushi, so that was super fun. And then Mira's gone now, so I am just chilling. I'm actually about to watch one of my favorite episodes of Grey's Anatomy, so that's pretty cool. Um, and I've spent a lot of time today trying to get one of my videos to export, and it just doesn't want to cooperate. Um, so that's super, super fun. Um, but it's like 8 o'clock now, and I'm kind of putting off washing my dishes. Which I know I need to get done before my mother gets here tomorrow. And I keep putting it off, but like, that's like the last thing I need to do to be ready for her arrival. Um, so yeah, it's a good day. And I can't wait for tomorrow. I'm so excited. Good morning. It is a Thursday morning. It's about 10.30. Um, 
I've been up for a couple hours already doing some things like uh, cleaning up the room, uh, getting it ready for my cousin to stay, and then, yeah, just general cleaning and stuff. Um, I finally got my video to export this morning. Um, I figured out that you can actually export straight from iMovie to YouTube, and that just ended up being the best course of action. So that's what I did. Um, so yeah, I've got a couple more things to do to get the room all ready to go, but I've got about four hours, and I also do need to stop at the, I want to go to the gym, I want to cut my gym out the time already, um, but I need to go to the gym and get lunch in that time as well, so don't have a ton of time. And for breakfast, I had one of these cheese danishes that... Mira brought me yesterday, which was very nice her, and I believe I still have, yeah, there's still some noodles in here from the pasta that she brought me yesterday. It smells very nice for her, and I may end up eating some of those for lunch, or for a snack or something. We shall see. But yeah, I just have to work at 2, and then by the time I'm done with work, my family will be here. has returned from the gym. Oh, I went to the dining hall after I worked out and there was another high school that was like touring today. They were so annoying and rambunctious. I was not about it. I just wanted to get my food and get out. But of course, all they had was pizza because that's all high school people eat. Pizza. Uh, ah, but now I need to shower because I have to go to work in one hour. Hello, so I'm all cleaned up now, no longer a sweat ball. Um, so I am at work. I just got here, so it's 2 o'clock. And I think my family's already here in the city, but they have a, uh, my cousin's going on a college tour at Northwestern at like 2.30 or something. Um, and they'll come back here and check into the hotel. And then they're gonna come see me here. And then we're gonna get dinner. And I picked um, Bulldogs for us to go because it's, one, right across the street from the hotel, two, popular destination for Loyola students so uh, my cousin can get a true feel of going to Loyola. Um, and they just have good food. Um, it's a place I go to sometimes on Sundays because they have the 49 cent wings. Um, so I've been there a bunch of times. But I think I might get chicken pot pie tonight, because uh, that sounds amazing, and they have a really good chicken pot pie. So I'm looking forward to that. I just need to get through my four-hour shift, and I will probably end up editing because I don't feel like doing homework, which has kind of put me in a bind because I'm going to have to do a lot on Sunday. It's going to be so fun. Last day of break, scrambling to get some work done. But it's fine. It's going to be fine. Pop. Yeah, Pop. your father carried it in and okay. carried it up from the basement, loaded it in, and picked it up. Okay. You want what? Chicken tenders. Chicken tenders. They do sound good. I like chicken tenders. Fun. Oh, I got the button. No, I got the button. <laughs> My bad. Bulldogs for dinner, and then we hung out at the hotel for a while, and then my cousin and I walked here and stayed here last night, obviously. Um, but this morning, it's quite early, it's like 8 a.m. Um, we are just getting ready to head over to the hotel and have breakfast with my mom and my brother, and then we are 
going on a Loyola tour at 10, I think. And then I thought the rest of the day planned. And I'll let you know what we're doing. First, we're going to Flossos for lunch. Never been. It's near campus. A popular place people go. They have tacos and stuff. Um, then we're getting on the train and we're going downtown and we're going to go to the cultural center first. Then we're going to go to Morning Park. Then we're going to go to the ice skating ribbon and just ice skate around for a while. Um, and then after that, we're going to go to Giordano's for dinner, um, a super popular pizza place in Chicago. I've also never been there. Um, and then after that, we're just going to walk along the river. It'll be dark, so we'll be all, like, the lights reflecting off of it and stuff. And then we might walk down Magnificent Mile, and then we will head back here and just hang out. So yeah, that is the plan for the day. It's going to be super exciting. It's going to be a long day. Um, so yeah, let's, let's go. Eric food. fell and I laughed at him, so then, so then I fell yeah. because karma. Ready, go. Do something fancy. Come on, Eric. Do a trick or fall. You got to do one or the other. Just because you don't understand the art doesn't mean you have to hate on it. It's not. Uh huh. Okay. I'm sure. I'm sure you're not hating on the art. I'm thinking I should just become an artist. <laughs> and turn in our grade school. Our grade. Now, our grade school. Art. Like. Well, yeah, no, it's like. a silvery. It's cool. That I like. Melting man. He's kind of okay. Okay. Oh, this all right. One, I don't think they finished. <laughs> 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 Put on different socks. Yeah, harder, harder. <laughs> Ow. Might not have been the cleanest or, <laughs> or the safest, but oh, Jenna would have done it. Without hitting anything. Uh, that's, a, that's another story, Mom. <laughs> okay. There's um, a possibility. Good morning. It is Saturday morning. Um, I had a super fun day yesterday hanging out with my cousin and my brother and my mom. We did tons of fun stuff, which I'm sure you saw. I had a couple technical difficulties with battery and storage space, so I didn't film as much as I wanted to, but 
we had a super fun time and they're still here um i was just came in here to drop some stuff off but we are in the lounge right now finishing up my taxes so fun um and then mira and her parents are going to be here at noon so we can go sign a lease on our new apartment hello um it's very brave hold on i can't see so uh my family is all gone now and mira's back um, we signed the lease on our new apartment. I'm so excited. Mira's moving in in June. No, I'm not moving in until August, but that is okay. Um, yeah, super exciting. Um, but yeah, I just been chilling here, watching some Netflix, hanging out. It's a Saturday afternoon. Like some talkies, I don't know, we'll see where the day takes me. I had a really fun morning as well, back here after breakfast and finished up my taxes. Um, and then we went over to the apartment, signed the lease, and then we got lunch with um, Mira and her family and it was super fun. And then they left. So my family's driving back to Minnesota right now. Hello, it's me again. Um, I'm currently just eating up some chicken pot pie from the other night when I had dinner with the fam. I'm watching some Grey's Anatomy, spending some quality time with my bed before we have to part ways next week. Um, yeah, that's, that's about it. <laughs> Just been watching Netflix. Uh, I'm watching Grey's Anatomy. I'm almost done with season eight. I'm almost on the finale, which is really sad. Sad episode. Um, that much I remember. Um, yeah. I have so much food in my room right now. It's making me so happy. Um, but tomorrow, the grind begins. Uh, I'm gonna get up early. I'm gonna go to the IC. Well, I don't know what the time the IC opens. But anyway, I'm gonna get up early. I'm gonna get some homework done for once. We're gonna get back on the college grind. But for now, it's Saturday night. I'm gonna keep watching my Netflix. Um, whenever Mira gets back from studying, then maybe we'll hang out. So yeah. Yeah.